How are Hi, you? Hi, Manny. How you doing? I am wonderfully Good, thank blessed. You. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you for having me. Right, and um, let me tell you, congratulations on your movie, Fright Night. I actually enjoyed the film, Mr. David. Don't sound so surprised, Manny. <laughs> well, you know, th here's the deal. Fright Night, the original, is well-loved, and it's a product of my childhood. So I was kind of hesitant to uh -huh. watch Fright Night, the reboot, the remake, and, but, you know, I actually fell in love with it and your performance as well. Thank you. Well, I think, yeah, I mean, I think it's always a problem with a remake that you might put people's noses out of joint, but I think it's done with, it's done with love for the original, but also, but also not trying to take anything away from the original. I think it's, it's absolutely a film in its own right. Now, this is your first ma really major foray into a big Hollywood movie besides, you know, Harry Potter. But, um, and of course, you're well-loved, well-beloved as um, Doctor Who. So what made you want to inhabit the role of the iconic Peter Vincent that Roddy McDowell played in the original? I think because of the way it was in the script, it was, it was such a juicy part, really. You know, he, he's this extraordinary, slightly uh, bumptious, uh, uh, on-stage illusionist who, who, behind the scenes, is this miserable, downtrodden, drunken, <laughs> foul-mouthed uh, reprobate, really. Um, so that's already, uh, you know, an interesting acting uh, challenge. And you add to that the fact that he's got this dark history and he's got these secrets uh, from his childhood and it's hard to say no to that and, and I get to fight vampires you know it's a, it's an all-round package really right and it helps that it's Colin Farrell who plays this seductive you know qu quite kind of mysterious vampire he's it yeah he's got uh, I think Colin's a perfect choice because he I mean he looks like he's carved <laughs> in marble he's sort of beautiful and, and powerful and and uh, He's got all that malevolence just bottled up just under the skin. It's, it's a terrific performance. And right. very surprising because in real life he's this twinkly, charming, delightful uh, bloke to hang around. And then on set, suddenly the chill uh, appears in his eye. It's, a, it's fantastic. Now, how did you research your role of the not-quite-fearless vampire hunter? Um, well, you know, you start, you start with the script and you, you see what's been written. And then you just think, well... Who would this guy be, and what you know? What 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 has made him this kind of damaged individual, and and and, and where's that going to? You know, you just try and fill that with as much uh, I don't know. It's uh, as much joy and uh, inspiration, and uh, a bit of a uh, bit of a twinkle here and there, and hopefully you get a you get a nice juicy character at the other end. Oh, uh, now my last question, Mr. David, is what do you think is the enduring quality of vampires in pop culture? Why do we keep on going back to them? Ah, uh, if I knew, if I knew the real answer to that, I'd probably be a gazillionaire, wouldn't I? I, I there's clearly something which we can't put down about vampires. We're, we, we, they've intrigued humanity for, for centuries, haven't they? And there's something, there's something intriguing about them, there's something terrifying about them, there's something a little bit sexy about them, and I think we'll be fascinated about them for the rest of time, I suspect. Oh, well, thank you so much again, Mr. David, and congratulations on the movie again. Thanks, Manny. Pleasure talking to you. Pleasure talking to you.